this is for fine or flat hair. That's me. Fine hair, flat hair. <laughs> welcome back so got an empties video for y'all today so I have got a whole bunch of trash here in front of me so I'm gonna run through the different products let you know what I have finished up and what do I think about these products so let's get to it so I always have a bunch of these in every empties video so if you watch my empties videos this will be repetitive but if you've never watched them I absolutely love this hairspray this is my go-to this is the Garnier Fructis full and plush volume hairspray. I love it because it's cheap. It's like three to four dollars a bottle. It smells really good. It smells very fruity and fresh. Um, it holds my style without making my hair crunchy. Like if I apply a lot of it, it can start to get towards that, but it never really feels like sticky or like it doesn't move. I just love this hairspray. It is my go-to and I use a lot of it, probably too much. But can you ever have too much hairspray? Let's be honest. I also used up a couple of these. These have been my go-to dry shampoo right now. These are the Garnier Fructis Volume Extend Instant Bodifier Dry Shampoo, and this is for fine or flat hair. That's me. Fine hair, flat hair. <laughs> so I need some help with the volume, and this does that. Like, it really does add volume and body and soaks up that oil. It's a great dry shampoo. Um, you don't get a ton, I don't think. I just feel like I go through it pretty quickly, so that's maybe a negative about it, but it works really well, so I love it. Also used up this shampoo. This is the Herbal Essence Naked Shampoo in volume or for volume. I love Herbal Essence shampoos. There's a loud plane going overhead. I don't know if y'all can hear that but it's loud. Anyway, okay, so I love Herbal Essence shampoos. Um, I like their conditioners too. They've been one, like a brand that I've used for a really long time. Like I can remember using these in like, probably even elementary school. Like for sure I remember in middle school and high school, um, but maybe even elementary. It's been around for a long time and I really do like their products. I used to have a few things from the Not Your Mother's hair care line. So first I used the In A Heartbeat Blow Dry Accelerator says benefits, reduces drying time, provides thermal protection for all hair types. So I use this as my heat protectant for a while. Um, I really didn't notice like a big difference with drying time because I have really fine hair. So my hair dries pretty darn quickly. So I really didn't notice a big difference as far as that goes, but it smelled nice and you know, hopefully it was protecting my hair. I would assume so. I really do like this one though. This is the Beat the Heat Thermal Shield Spray says it's infused with sunflower and vitamins A and E. This smells just like sun ripened raspberry to me from Bath and Body Works. So I love the smell of it. Oh my gosh, yes, it's like so nostalgic. I love the scent on it. Um, and I feel like it does do a pretty good job of protecting my hair. But I do feel like since I've switched to using a higher end heat protectant, I do feel like my hair is doing a little bit better, but for a drugstore one, I think this does pretty good. I love this mousse. This is the Whip It Up Cream Styling Mousse. Again, if you've watched my empties video, this is videos, this is totally repetitive, but I love this. Um, it says for all hair types, builds body, thickens strands, tames frizz, non-sticky. This smells like cupcakes. The smell is absolutely incredible, like vanilla cupcakes, but also it's a really nice creamy mousse that holds your style, but doesn't make your hair feel crunchy or gross. So I really do like the texture of it too. Bought it originally for the scent and it's saying that it's um, this delicious vanilla cupcake scented mousse. That's what totally drew me in when I first got this forever ago. But once I used it, the formula of it made me fall in love with it and keep buying it. I bought these a while back to try to help my hair, but I don't know that I'm the biggest fan of these for my hair type. These are the Shea Moisture Jamaican Black Castor Oil Strengthen and Grow Shampoo. Because I'd heard good things about black castor oil, that's why I bought these. It says restore and renew natural, chemically processed, color treated, or heat styled hair. Mine is heat styled. I mean, I style my hair all the time, but it's not color treated or chemically processed or anything like that. But um, I was hoping that it would kind of like help with the health of my hair, but these were a little bit heavy for my fine hair. So actually, and this didn't really moisturize very much, this conditioner. So 
this is the conditioner, this is the shampoo. The shampoo, I found that I had to follow it up with another shampoo afterwards because it weighed down my hair too much. Just, I think the oil in it was just a little bit too heavy for my hair type. So I had to follow this up with a shampoo, a different shampoo. And this one, I just didn't feel like it moisturized my hair very well. So wasn't a big fan of these for my hair type. Good old Bumble and Bumble Preta Powder. I love this stuff. It's equal parts dry shampoo, style extender, and volume in a pinch. You can either just like dust this on your hair, you can poof it on your hair, like squeeze it and poof it. Um, it just helps to soak up the oil, give you some volume, give you a little bit of movement to your hair. It really just does like bring your style back to looking nice again, like after being slept on or whatever. So love this stuff. Okay, let's move on to a lot of skincare. So first off, I have the Peter Thomas Roth Unwrinkle Turbo Line Smoothing Toning Lotion. It says removes uh, surface impurities, treats, refreshes, and refreshes and softens skin, targets the appearance of the six most stubborn deep wrinkles and expression lines with 18 blah, 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 lots of good things. It does good things. So I really liked this toner. First off, it has a really interesting scent to it. It smells either like bread or beer to me, like very kind of yeasty smelling. At first I was like, that is a weird scent for a skincare product. But after I used it for a while, I really love the smell of bread and I'm okay with the smell of beer. I've kind of grown to like the smell of beer now. So. I actually like the scent of it, of this, but it kind of was just weird the first time I used it because I wasn't expecting my skincare to smell like bread or beer. But anyway, that's a side note. I liked how this made my skin feel. I do feel like it helped to um, do an extra level of cleansing and purifying my skin without over drying it. So I really did like this a, a lot, that toner. Um, this is the Clinique. Clinique Smart Custom Repair, Repair, <laughs> Custom Repair Serum. No, Custom Repair Serum. I liked this a lot. It looks gross at the top, so I'm so sorry about that. Um, I like this because it's kind of like a one-step sort of a skincare product. As I understand it with this, it says, our smart serum responds to the particular needs of your skin, targeting repair as needed, where needed. So that's why I like it. It's like, if you just want like one skincare product and you don't want to use a bunch of different things, this is supposed to really target the things that your skin needs and address it. So seems like really cool technology and I liked how it felt on my skin. Used up the whole bottle, so I liked it. Finished up a couple cleansers and another skincare product. So first off is the Murad Daily Cleansing Foam. Washes away dirt, oil, and pore clogging impurities. Tones and tightens pores without over drying. So I used this in the mornings by my sink. Um, I really liked it because it's a foamy sort of a cleanser, so it feels very light. Um, and it just felt like it cleansed my skin without, like I said, without over drying because it didn't feel like a heavy, intense cleanser. I probably wouldn't use this um, at nighttime just because it, it seems so light. So I like it more for mornings when I don't have a bunch of makeup or anything to remove. I really liked it for that because it was foamy and light. It seemed like it cleansed my skin, but wasn't like too, I didn't need a bunch of cleansing. I just needed a light cleanser in the morning. So that worked well. Okay, next we have the Origins Checks and Balances Frothy Face Wash. I love this face wash. I don't know why I'm doing this to talk about it, but I love this face wash. <laughs> it's very um, sudsy, so it really, it's very frothy, like it describes it. Frothy face wash. It gets very frothy and very like foamy and it's a nice cleansing experience. I feel like it does cleanse my skin really well without over drying it. Smells nice. I love Origin Skincare. It's one of my favorite lines. So that's a great one. This is the Kate Somerville Age Arrest Hydrating Firming Mask. This is one that you're supposed to be able to use as a mask, but also leave on overnight. So I would leave it on overnight. Um, I didn't notice like intense differences in my skin using this, but I've been really impressed with all the Kate Somerville skincare products that I've used. So I'm sure that this is doing really good things for the skin. I just didn't wake up going, oh my goodness, I can see an intense difference in my skin. But I think it's a good skincare product. I think it, you know, probably does what it's supposed to because everything else I've tried from Kate, I've liked. So I would assume that this is doing good things. I just couldn't see an intense difference 
like the day after. I found another hair care product hiding in there. I have had this for so long. This is the It's a 10 Miracle Leave-In product. I do like this, but I don't like it as much as a lot of people because I know that this is kind of like a fan favorite with a lot of people, or at least it used to be. I feel like I used to hear a lot of people talking about it. I think it's just a little bit too heavy for my fine hair, but it does feel like very nutrient rich for the hair. So I think it is a nice product. I just have to be really light handed with it on my fine hair. I used up the um, Lancome by Face Sill. That's the best guess. By face, by face sill, by facial. I don't know. Double action eye makeup remover. This works really well. It really does remove the eye makeup very well. This doesn't even have its name on it anymore, but this is the Algenist Eye Balm, something like that. I really liked it. Um, some of the Algenist Eye Balms can kind of um, irritate my eyes a little bit. Some eye balm, eye balm, eye creams can do that. My mom and my sister are super sensitive to that. I'm not quite as much as they are, but they can kind of irritate my eyes a little bit. And I noticed it a little bit with this one, but I really like how anti-aging it is. I like that line. This is the Algenist um, Genius Ultimate Anti-Aging Cream. This is kind of like an interesting texture to this product. I think it smells good too. I don't even know how to describe it, but I think it has a nice smell to it. It doesn't seem I don't know. It doesn't seem like it has fragrance in it because it's not very strong. It just smells like it would be like whatever ingredients are in it. Anyway, that's a side tangent. I like the way it smells. I do think this works well. I like the Algenis line, um, but this isn't, if I use this, I like to use it in conjunction with other things because I can't see as intense of a difference with this as some other skincare products. But I know some people really swear by this line, like specifically this ultimate anti-aging cream. So I know that this is definitely a fan favorite and I use it like it's in my skincare routine. Like I, I wouldn't say routine, rotation. I'll use the Algenist line, but I usually use it like layered with other things. Love me some Argon oil from Josie Marin. This is just the regular Argon oil. I have a little like sample -y one that I got as a point perk and then a smaller size. I absolutely love that stuff. Can't be without it. Use it all the time. It's amazing. I feel like it helps with the texture of my skin, fine lines, discoloration, hydration levels. It's just so good. I love it. Um, this is the Josie Marin. Um, this is the lotion. I don't even know what this is called. What is this called? The Argon Daily Moisturizer SPF 47. It says with natural broad spectrum SPF 47. So I love this for summertime, but I had these as like little point perks and used them as my daily moisturizer. I really do like this. It feels kind of heavy on the skin, um, which kind of surprises me that I like it for a daytime moisturizer, but I feel like it soaks in and doesn't affect the wear time on my foundation. So I still really love it. Like I feel like it's very hydrating, anti-aging, has that high SPF in it, um, but doesn't interfere with how my makeup wears. It's great. Okay, we're gonna have to move a little bit quicker because I have a lot left. I absolutely love this stuff. The Kate Somerville Delo Oil. This is an example of like a Kate product that I think is absolutely amazing. This is so good for fine lines, um, just anti-aging. It's awesome. I love the Delo Oil. Um, this is the Pharmacy Hydrating Coconut Gel Mask. Ooh, I remember I really liked this. It smells good, um, hydrating feeling. This is the Tony Moly I'm Real Tomato Mask Sheet Radiance. I love the Tony Moly masks. I think they're fun to use. They feel like a, I don't know, spa experience. This is the Urban Decay D Slick Oil Control Makeup Setting Spray. This is old. I've had this for a long time. Um, I used to really like the D Slick, but now I'm more kind of combo. I'm not as oily as I used to be. So it's a little bit over drying for me now. I prefer the All Nighter over that one. This is the Clorane. Floral Water Makeup Remover. I don't remember. I think I got this in an Ipsy bag or something. This worked pretty well. Pretty well. I didn't notice like anything spectacular about it, but it worked. It got the job done. This is the Sephora Solid Brush Cleanser. Love this. It works really well. Um, just like gets all the stuff off your brushes. 
Um, smells very kind of like clean, so really like that. This is the, I'm just throwing all this stuff. There is a huge mess down here, but we'll deal with that in a moment. Okay, this is the MAC Painterly Paint Pot. Um, this is awesome. Like, it's just a great base. Um, really helps with the longevity of your um, eye makeup, uh, with the intensity and like vibrancy. I do like to wear this with another eye primer though. This doesn't really work well enough for me as an eye primer by itself, but as a base, I love it. So I use a primer first, some other kind of primer, then use this as a base. It's great. Got some brow products and some eyeliners. First, the NYX Tame and Frame Tinted Brow Pomade. Love this. This is in blonde. This is like my go-to brow product. It matches my brows the best, wears really well. It's easy to use. I love that product. This is the MAC Eyebrows. It's called Eyebrows. I only have one finger available to use as quotation marks. Eyebrows. This one, I don't. Who knows? Okay, eyebrows. <laughs> And this is in, oh, I don't remember what color this is. It's not fling. I can't remember. Anyway, it's the second one, I think. Um, this one works okay, lingering. It works okay for me, but fling works better. It's a little bit lighter and matches me better, but I really do like this. It's nice and creamy, um, but not too creamy. Like it's easy to use, but it doesn't move too much. So I really like that. Eyeliners, I have this um, NYC. Don't even remember what it's called because it's just a little nub, but this worked well. I liked that liner. Um, this just totally like just fell apart and dried up, which is totally a bummer. I don't know if I was like, it just fell out. I don't know if I left it open or something. This is by The Balm because I remember I loved it when I first got it like in some subscription service. This is the um, Mr. Right Now eyeliner pencil and this is in Jack. So I loved it, but it dried out. This is the Physician's Formula Eye Booster, no, not Eye Booster, Shimmer Strips Custom Eye Enhancing Eyeliner Trio, and this is in Blue Eyes. Love these. I think they work really well. They glide on. They wear well. They're awesome. Did not really like this so much. Um, this is the Essence Super Fine Eyeliner Pen Waterproof. I remember I really didn't like this, and now I can't remember why. Hmm... I don't remember. I think it must, there's still product in it. So I'm guessing it didn't wear well. And that's why I put it in there. Cause usually I'll use up a product unless I just can't hang with it. And then I go ahead and put it in my empties. So I'm guessing that's the situation. Like it ran, it probably ran on my eyes. Um, cause I remember trying it and I remember not liking it, but I can't remember why. But typically if I don't like a liner, that's why. Okay. Yeah. It must've been the wear time on it. Cause I just used some cleansing water on it and it came right off really easily. Okay, so I have a lipstick and some mascaras and then we're done. So this is Max Angel. This was one of my first MAC loves. It's just a beautiful kind of glossy pink. It's so pretty. I still love this lipstick. There's a little nub left, but this is super old. I don't need to be wearing that anymore. And then mascaras, I have the Urban Decay Perversion. I love how this looks on the lashes. It really builds beautiful volume, really intense looking lashes. So I love how it looks, but it smudges on me, which is such a bummer because I love, love, love what it does to the lashes. So if you don't have a smudging problem, then I think you'd love this mascara. But if you do, I don't know. Okay, this is the Clinique Bottom Lash Mascara. Really love this one. It's so tiny and just really easy to use on the lower lashes. It's just a little bitty sort of um, a wand there. So love it for that. Doesn't smudge like one of the most long wearing uh, mascaras I've ever used on my lower lashes. Love that one. The um, It Cosmetics Tight Line. I love to use this on my lower lashes. It's a very skinny long wand. So it's really easy to get to those um, bottom lashes. So I love it for that. Uh, smudges a little bit, not, not as long wearing as the um, Clinique Bottom Lash, but still works really well. My Holy Grail Mascara. This is the It Cosmetics Superhero. This gives amazing lashes. Um, it does smudge a little bit, but not that bad. And it's totally worth it for the amazing lashes. Amazing volume, amazing length, just kind of the look of false lashes without wearing false lashes. It's amazing. But it does get um, thick and goopy, gloopy. Gloopy is my word. Somebody told me I made up that word. 
Yes, I did. Because goopy and gloppy just doesn't work. We got to combine it. It's a very gloopy formula, but I love it. I can take the gloopiness because it works so well. All right, guys, so those are all my recent empties. So I hope that you really enjoyed this video. Please hit a thumbs up if you did. Let me know down below what you think about any of these products. If you have thoughts on them, I would love to know your opinions. Ask me any questions that you have. I'm happy to answer those. Please subscribe to my channel if you're not already, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.